Welcome to the 14th Sunday after Pentecost and our, uh, our readings today include Ezekiel 34, 11 through 24, 1 Timothy chapter 1 verses 12 through 17, and Luke 15, 1 through 10. The theme for our readings this day is the, the lost sheep and uh, we'll be singing, uh, Send, O Lord, thy Holy Spirit, Jesus sinners doth receive immortal, invisible, God only wise. And the children's hymn uh, from VBS, a little few years back, one in a hundred. So uh, that's our, our worship plan for today. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Hello, I'm, I'm David. I have a small flock of sheep, 100 of them, and I know each and every one of them. I can see their little, their little ears and their little faces and their fuzzy little tails. Each of them is, is just a little different. I can tell them apart. I see that you, you think that's hard to believe, but if you spend as much time with sheep as I do, you get to know them just as much as you know your family and friends and can tell them apart from, uh, from each other and from other people. Well, let me tell you a little bit more about sheep. You know, sheep wander off sometimes uh, for lots of different reasons. Some sheep are just wanderers by nature. They're constantly trying to explore and get away and, and uh, from wherever I want them to be. You know, the grass seems greener on the other side of the fence. Uh, these sheep will even teach other sheep their tricks, and sometimes I have to sell those ones off for the good of the rest of the flock when it's, when it's that time of year. Now, some sheep wander because they get busy eating or drinking or whatever they're doing, not paying attention when I move the rest of the flock on. And uh, they slowly drift off over a hill or around the corner and uh, just out of sight. And then they turn around and can't see the rest of the flock and then sometimes they panic. Can't remember how they got where they were, or where the rest of the sheep are. Sheep, sheep don't like to be alone. It's not safe for them. That safety is to be together in the flock especially with the shepherd. Now, uh, now sometimes sheep get separated if a, when predators come and, and the sheep scatter, running off in different directions. Uh, but Now, usually I can tell what sheep are thinking, but once in a while, they get a wild thought in their head and, and uh, go do something that I, I'm not expecting. Uh, usually they aren't, aren't gone long, um, I'm always talking to the sheep so that they, if they get a little out of sight, they can still hear my voice and find their way back to the flock. But every once in a while, they, they go a little too far, and then I have to go looking for them. Like, like last week, for example. I, I don't know what happened, but I, I started checking my sheep and, and uh, counting them out, and I noticed the little snowball wasn't around. And I called to him over this way and, and over that way, all around. I, I started you know, looking out a little bit, uh, keeping the flock in sight, but you know, making a circle around them a little ways out, a little further out, and I still couldn't find him. And there had been some coyotes around, so I decided I better go look for him before he gets into trouble or something happens to him. And you know, the flock, well, I, I don't like to leave him alone, but they'd be fine together by themselves for a little while. And I, so I headed it back the way we had come, checking all around in the rocks, uh, in the bushes, under the trees, by the, by the creeks, and in the, even in the cave. I had to look all over, and I was really getting worried about Snowball. Where could he be? What, what would happen if I didn't find him soon? I, I saw some friends of mine, other shepherds, Bill and Joe, and I asked them if they had seen any sheep wandering around. And they said, well, there might have been one by himself way off on the mountain. Uh, so I, I headed over there and started climbing up the mountain. And it's pretty steep and rocky, hard to climb, and, and that little sheep could be hiding anywhere. 
I should have thought of it earlier, but I decided then that I, I better stop and pray and ask God's help to find this little lost sheep. So I prayed, Lord God, I should have come to you sooner, but I've been looking for Snowball for a long time, and I'm, I'm starting to lose hope. I'm getting worried. Lord, you know where he is. Help me find him and bring him back to the flock. And finally, I, I heard him. A quiet little bleep off in the, bleat off in the distance a little bit, and I, I followed his, his bleeding until I found him. He, he was caught up in some brush. I was so happy. I didn't even care how he got there, or how he got lost. I was overjoyed to find him. He was alive. <laughs> so I put him up on my shoulders and I started heading back to the flock and I, I went by Bill and Joe again. And I thanked them for, for giving me some help and I, I showed them I found little Snowball. He's alive. Uh, they were happy, but not as happy as I was. <laughs> and I, I carried little Snowball all the way back into the middle of the flock. And then I was remi I reminded me of of Jesus' parable of the lost sheep. After being accused by, by the Pharisees of spending too much time with tax collectors and prostitutes and sinners, Jesus told a, a story that was very similar to my day of, of chasing, looking for a little snowball. I was rejoicing over a snowball just as Jesus and his father rejoiced at the lost person being brought to salvation. Now Jesus uh, wasn't saying that there's only one sinner out of every hundred people. He was saying that we're all lost in our sins, tangled up like snowball in the bushes so we can't free ourselves. And we can't find God. He finds us. He saves us from our sins. He saves us by his own son, Jesus, dying for us. There are no righteous people, only people who think that they are righteous. But when we realize that we're not righteous, then we see how tangled up we are in our sins. We see how lost we are. Then we're ready to be found. We call out like little snowball, and God rejoices when we recognize our sin and confess it. He, he rejoices to be able to forgive us. Now we all wander a bit from time to time, don't we? Some, t some of us more than others, some wander further away than others, but God keeps track of each and every one of us. Uh, he knows that you, when you get tangled up in your sin, and when you're ready for Him to, to save you and carry you back to the flock, each and every one of you and me are little lost sheep. We've all been lost, and now we are found. God rejoices over each of you little sheep in his flock. One in a hundred, or one in a million, or even if you're one in a billion. Jesus loves you so. You'll never, never, ever be alone. Now may the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus, our Good Shepherd. Amen.